and welcome. I'm the Invisible Man, and today we're talking about Kimmy Schmidt season three, episode three. So the episode starts with Kimmy running a fever for Jacqueline, and then she comes on in, and Jacqueline's in a really hot dress, and Kimmy's like, Wee! Boy, like, I'm like, Kimmy, when did you become a perv? That's uh, just a little out of character, guys. And then she explains that she and Russ have a plan to make his family hate her. I don't get why you'd want that, but okay. And then Kimmy goes back to her apartment, and then a strange woman named Wendy knocks on the door. She's played by Laura Dern, by the way. We'll come back to that. <laughs> and then she explains, Kimmy, I need you to sign these divorce papers so that I can marry the Reverend. And then Kimmy's like, what? And then she eats the divorce papers and says the dog ate them. And even funnier, Wendy buys the story, even though they don't have a dog. So then Jacqueline and Russ get into a fake fight in front of his family, and then... Russ lets it slip, uh, Jacqueline's Native American! And she storms off like, how dare you! And he tries to explain himself, this is all part of my plan. Now we can screw with them even faster than I thought! But then he gets run over by this idiot driver in the street. Further proof that dumb people should not own smart cars. And then Russ gets in the hospital with a full body cast. And then the dad and the brother come up with a plan to marry them before he dies, or... Something like that. Because apparently having a Native American in the family will allow them to say whatever they want about the Redskins. They'll be untouchable. Uh, okay. Then meanwhile, Kimmy doesn't want to divorce the Reverend anymore because it will just mean that this dumb woman will marry him instead. Meanwhile, Titus is like, Kimmy Sale, it's none of your business. Just let her live her life. And then Kimmy goes out for a while, and then she does some crazy extracurricular stuff for her college application. She makes an ultimate frisbee. She models pictures in front of the UN. Model UN. Get it? And she makes a hand puppet out of a mitten. Hey, let's throw you in an El Roca. Whoa, you are one bad mitten. But then she realizes, oh, it said bad minton. What is a minton? Oh, if I know. And then in that time, she decides, screw it, I'll sign the divorce papers. And then she's about to, but then Titus has second thoughts. Oh, the irony. He realizes, Kimmy, this woman is far too dumb for her own good. We can't let her marry the Reverend. You gotta have a bunker flashback or something. And then Kimmy has a bunker flashback, and she remembers, Oh yeah, I did the same thing in the bunker to help that Hispanic woman that was also found. And then Kimmy remembers the reason she married the Reverend was to keep the Reverend from marrying her. And now she has to do the same thing all over again. So Kimmy's stuck with the Reverend, and Wendy is not happy about it. So then she storms out, I knew it! You're still in love with him, aren't you? Wrecker of my joy! My dear Dr. Sattler, you are dumb. Very, very dumb. And then Titus is like, don't worry, Kimmy, I'll help you find another way to make money for college. Like a new app idea! And then she's like, that doesn't mean appetizers. You wrecker of my joy! So yeah, it was sort of bland at times, most notably the uh, Jacqueline and Russ part. That was just all politics. That was so boring. But I really liked it when Kimmy was out on the streets doing those crazy things. That is Kimmy Schmidt at her finest. That's just her being random, fun, and spontaneous. That's what I love about her. More of that, please. So that's the end of the episode, guys. I'll see you dudes and dudettes next time. Ciao!